Hey you guys, it's your girl Instant and today I'll be coming at you with a stand-up with Mr. George Carlin on some cultural issues. Now, he has no filter, I found out. <laughs> he has no filter. He tells it exactly like it is. He don't give a... Put a cupcake over my mouth. <laughs> He scraped to the point and he gonna let you know he's like a god at this stuff. Not a god, he is like a brilliant at this stuff. I'm telling it people how it is. And hey, that's just how some older people are. They just tell you like it is. And but don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you can see me. And uh, let's get into this video. Uh -oh. Something else I don't understand. Motivation tapes. Uh -oh. Motivation books. What happened here? Suddenly everybody needs to be motivated? It's a yep. fairly simple thing. Either you want to do something or you don't. What's the big mystery? Besides, if you're motivated enough to go to the store to buy a motivation book, aren't you motivated enough to do that? So you don't need the book. Put it back. Tell the clerk, fuck you. I'm motivated. I'm going home. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> he be talking so fast. And can anyone explain to me the need for one hour photo finishing? <laughs> you just saw the fucking thing. <laughs> how, how can you possibly be nostalgic about a concept like a little while ago? <laughs> Another complaint, too many vehicles. There are some what? families in this country own entirely too many vehicles. Yeah. You see them on the highway in an RV. But that's not enough for them. RV is not enough. Behind them, they're towing a motorboat, go-kart, dune buggy, dirt bike, jet ski, snowmobile, parasail, hang glider, windsurfing equipment, a hot air balloon, and a small two-man deep-sea diving bell. Dang. Doesn't anyone just take a fucking walk anymore? <laughs> The only thing these people lack is a lunar excursion module. <laughs> so many choices, America. It's not healthy. Oh! <laughs> Another abomination. White guys over 10 years of age who wear their baseball hats backwards. Die. White guys. Let me tell you something. You're never gonna be as cool as black guys. Uh, it's not gonna happen. You're white and you're lame. Uh, <laughs> he ain't have to do them like that. It's a fucking law of. He ain't have to do them like that. He did not have to do them like that. <laughs> he had to say it. He don't care. He Nature. Don't care. Turning your hat around and learning a complicated handshake will not make you cool. And you black guys, since you started the whole thing, I'm going to let you stay with the hats a little bit longer, but I think really, once you qualify for social security, it's time to spin that motherfucker around. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Another tip, another tip for the men. The earrings, the thing with the earrings, it's over. Ah! It's been over for a long time. Doesn't mean anything anymore. It was supposed to piss off the squares. The squares are wearing them now. Doesn't mean any, it's just fucking jewelry. Unless yeah. you have an earring with a live baby hanging from it. Uh! It's just jewelry. And I want you to know I'm in favor of self-mutilation and personal disfigurement. I've always said there's nothing like puncturing and perforating your skin in a dozen or so places in order to demonstrate your high self-esteem. When I see a young man decorating his scalp with a soldering iron, I say, there's a happy guy. Oh thinks highly of himself. <laughs> and haven't we gone a little overboard with these colored ribbons for different causes? Every cause has its own colored ribbon now. Red yeah. for AIDS, blue for child abuse, pink for breast cancer, green for the rainforest, purple for urban violence. I got a brown one. You know what it means? Eat shit, motherfucker! Oh! Eat shit, motherfucker! <laughs> And what can we do to silence these Christian athletes who thank Jesus whenever they win, never mention his name when they lose? Ah! You never hear him say, Jesus made me drop the ball. No, I can do that. Check me up behind the line of scrimmage. <laughs> According to these guys, Jesus is undefeated. Meanwhile, these assholes are in last place. 
Must be another one of those miracles. And speaking of delusional people, what about a guy who hears a voice in his head, tells him to kill his entire family, so he does it? Is this the only thing a voice in the head ever tells these people to do is to kill others? Does a voice ever tell a guy, yeah. go take a shit on the salad bar at Wendy's? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it always tell a guy to take out his dick on the merry-go-round once in a while? Yeah. Well, some guys do take out their dicks on the merry-go-round, but usually it's their own idea. Uh. <laughs> Something else I can do without aftershave and cologne and this disgusting shit that men put on their bodies. Just what I need in the elevator. Some guy standing next to me smells like a fucking pine tree. I said, go home and wash, you smelly prick. You smell like the urinal in a Portuguese cat house. Ugh. God damn, guys are stupid. Guys are really fucking dumb. They think they're going to get laid with this stuff, you know. Oh, yeah, they put it on at home. Oh, boy, oh, boy, I'll get laid tonight. I'll get laid tonight. Ah! You get laid with green shit that comes out of a bottle, okay? <laughs> and the only smell that's going to help you get laid might be your own natural scent. You have pheromones. It's a secondary sex characteristic. People in America, oh, nervous about sex. They want to cover that up and disguise it. Guys in Europe, they know how to live. Guy gets in the elevator over there, he smells like a pile of dog shit. Ah! <laughs> Those people are sophisticated. <laughs> <laughs> Getting pretty tired of these guys walking around in cowboy hats and cowboy boots. You ever see these jack-offs? Can't we kill some of these motherfuckers? Oh, why do you want to do that? Cowboy hat. Grown man. It's not even Halloween, for Christ's sakes. I say, hey, Tex, grow up and get yourself a wardrobe consistent with the century you're living in. Got it. Why do certain men feel the need to dress up as mythic figures? You don't see anyone walking around in a pirate costume, do you? <laughs> When's the last no. guy you ran into had on a Viking outfit? Make believe cowboys. Closest they ever got to a cow is when they stopped to take a piss at an Arby's. <laughs> and camcorders. Here is technology gone berserk. Everywhere you go now, there's some dick, some yo yo, <laughs> some putts. Ready. Camcorder, Ready. And he is going to tape everything. <laughs> Doesn't anyone in this country just stop and look at things anymore? Sort of take them in? Maybe even <laughs> remember them? <laughs> is that just a strange notion? Does, that, does experience have to be documented and brought home and saved on the shelf? And do people really watch this shit? Are people's lives so bankrupt they sit at home looking at things they already did? <laughs> These guys are so intense, you know. It's always guys. They won't let women touch the cameras. It's a highly technical skill. Ah! Look through a hole, push on a button, big skill, and they're, they all think they're Federico Fellini. You ever seen him this show? <laughs> Low angles, zooms, and pans, and it's the same ugly three children in every goddamn shot. <laughs> all the George Lucas magic in Hollywood is not going to change the unfortunate genetic configuration on the faces. Of these children. Keep these unfortunate youngsters out of public view. Now he ain't have to do that. He ain't have to say that about them kids. He remind me of somebody. I don't know that I know them in everyday life or something. He remind me of somebody. I think I know somebody look like him. <laughs> oh my God. I think I know who it is now. <laughs> now, a lot of these, hold on a sec. A lot of these uh, cultural crimes I've been complaining about can be blamed on the baby boomers. Something else I'm a little tired of hearing about. The baby boomers. Whiny, narcissistic, self-indulgent people with a simple philosophy. Give me it, it's mine! Ah! It's mine. <laughs> These people were given everything. Everything was handed to them. And they took it all, took it all. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll, and they stayed loaded for 20 years and had a free ride. But now they're staring down the barrel of middle-aged burnout, and they don't like it. They don't like it, so they've turned self-righteous. And they want to make things hard on younger people. Yeah. They tell them abstain from sex. Say no to drugs. As for the rock and roll, they sold that for television commercials a long time ago. So they could buy pasta machines and Stairmasters and soybean futures. Soybean futures. What is that? You know something? 
They're cold blood. What are soybeans futures? Like, what are those? But I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I'm straight 90s. Godless people. It's in their slogans. It's in their rhetoric. No pain, no gain. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Life is short. Play hard. Shit happens. Deal with it. Get a life. These people went from do your own thing to just say no. Hey. They went from love is all you need to whoever winds up with the most toys wins. And they went from cocaine to Rogaine. Oh. <laughs> And you know something? They're still counting grams, only now it's fat grams. Oh. And the worst of it is, the rest of us have to watch these commercials on TV for Levi's loose-fitting jeans and fat-ass docker pants. <laughs> because these degenerate, yuppie, boomer cocksuckers couldn't keep their hands off the croissants and the haagen -Dazs. And their big fat asses have spread all over and they have to wear oh. fat-ass docker pants. Fuck these boomers, <laughs> fuck these yuppies. And fuck everybody, now that I think of it. <laughs> well, sometimes in comedy you have to generalize. Now, there's one thing you might have noticed I don't complain about. Politicians. Uh -uh. Everybody complains about politicians. Everybody says they suck. Well, where do people think uh, these politicians come from? They don't fall out of the sky. No. They don't pass through a membrane from another reality. What they come, come from American from? parents and American families, American homes, American schools, American churches, American businesses, and American universities, and they're elected by American citizens. This is the best we can do, folks. Uh, this is what we have to offer. It's what our system produces. Garbage in, garbage out. Uh, Ignorant citizens. If you have selfish, ignorant citizens, you're going to get selfish, ignorant leaders. And term limits ain't going to do you any good. You're just going to wind up with a brand new bunch of selfish, ignorant Americans. So maybe, maybe, maybe it's not the politicians who suck. Maybe something else sucks around here. Maybe like we just suck. The public. <laughs> yeah, the public sucks. There's a nice campaign slogan for somebody. The public sucks. Fuck hope. Oh! Hope. Because if it's really just the fault of these politicians, then where are all the other? This man is straight freaking raw. He is straight fucking, I mean, freaking cutthroat. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm a lady. I don't cuss. <laughs> sorry, I'm a lady. I've been listening to him too long. Up there, I was dropping all the F bombs and stuff. Sorry, but he is straight raw. He don't care. He just said, if the public all oh, he don't care about none of that. He don't care about none of that. Other bright people of conscience. Where are all the bright, honest, intelligent Americans ready to step in and save the nation and lead the way? We don't have people like that in this country. Everybody's at the mall. Scratching his ass, picking his nose, uh, taking his credit card out of his fanny pack, and buying a pair of sneakers with lights in them. <laughs> so I have solved this little political dilemma for myself in a very simple way. On election day, I stay home. I don't vote. Fuck them. Fuck them. I don't vote. Two reasons. Two reasons I don't vote. First of all, it's meaningless. This country was bought and sold and paid for a long time ago. The shit they shuffle around every four years <laughs> doesn't mean a fucking thing. And secondly, I don't vote because I believe if you vote, you have no right to complain. People like to twist that around, I know. They say, they say well, if you don't vote, you have no right to complain. But where's the logic in that? If you vote, and you elect dishonest, incompetent people, and they get into office and screw everything up, well, you are responsible for what they have done. Yeah. You caused the problem. You voted them in. You have no right to complain. I, on the other hand, <laughs> who did not vote, who did not vote, who, in fact, did not even leave the house on election day. <laughs> I'm in no way responsible for what these people have done and have every right to complain as loud as I want about the mess you created that I had nothing to do with. 
So I know made. that a little later on this year, you're going to have another one of those really swell presidential elections that you like so much. You'll enjoy yourselves. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm sure as soon as the election is over, your country will improve immediately. As for me, I'll be home on that day doing essentially the same thing as you. The only difference is when I get finished masturbating, I'm going to have a little something to show for it. For ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this man is too much <laughs> this man is too much oh my god i don't know what to say about that man i don't know what to say about him <laughs> Get that laugh out of man, it's too much. But this brings us to the end of the video, you guys. Tell me what you thought about this silly man. This, oh, I know, I know. Uh, I had, I used to work with uh, a home health company, and I had a man. I had to see one of my clients. He was like this. Oh my god, I miss him so much. He's so silly. But yes, he was just like him, and this man has no fears at all. <sighs> That's the end of the video, you guys. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and laugh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>